The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're taking a simple loop and flipping, stretching, and arranging it out into a finished beat composition. Now I'm going to be using Ableton for this and when I start I like to have an Ableton session with a grand piano and a pluck ready to go and I'm going to go dig up a chord that I like so I'm going to visit pop and plucks and let's just click on a random one and see what we can find. That's all right let's see that's kind of sad. It's a little too happy. That's my bot. I don't really want my song to start out with the piano. I'd rather make something a little bit more club friendly. So let's try bringing it down onto a pluck. This pluck is the uh, default pop and plucks uh, first preset available at wholeloops.com. And I'm just gonna grab this MIDI. I want to do a stripped down version of this so that we can grow this chord progression out later in the song. So we've basically just cleaned out the harmonic center of all of our chords and we have the root note and the top note. Hey. I love that already. Next thing I wanna do is just beef up these plucks a little bit. So I'm gonna drop my OTT four band preset on here. There we go. And without it. And if you wanna see how I made this four band version of the OTT preset, I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description, but that's all we're gonna do here. So I'm just gonna double click this to close it. So we now have our intro sound. And speaking of intro, I like to use markers to really help me visualize what's going on. Because sometimes just laying things out will give you a guide to follow. If you're not really sure you know, where to go next, start out with a verse. And then we'll go to our actual chorus. You know, that's good enough for now. Well, let's just get back to making this beat. So the next thing I wanna add in here is a snap. And I don't want the snap to start right at the beginning. So I'm gonna go into Urban Beats. Let's grab a drum sound. Turn the release up right there. Let's hit this with a little bit of reverb too. double snap at the end just to throw him a curveball. I might do Hot Tropics kick instead of the trap kick. Let's... That one's tight. I'm actually just gonna create a new clip by hitting Command Shift M. I love doing that sometimes. I find it to be nice and quick and I could just click some drums in. Maybe put one right here too. And now to complement this pluck, I'm gonna hit this with an 808, but not a low disrespectful one, just a pitched up soft one. But I'm still gonna use a disrespectful sample. I'm just not gonna hit it at full volume. So let's go here. Number seven is gonna be good for this. And let's copy this MIDI down. I like making my 808 channel red. That makes it easy to find. And all I gotta do is Highlight everything except for these bottom notes. Hit delete. Hey. So now that we've heard this pluck noise for a while, I wanna kinda of go back to a more elaborate version of our chord progression. So I'm gonna move this up to here and let's, let's try enabling all the notes that are in this MIDI clip. Let's just hit that legato button. And to help this not feel so slow, I'm gonna grab a loop that's gonna keep the tempo up. So let's go to Hot Tropics. Let's go to the faster loops and not that, not quite that fast or that fast. 
Let's do that one. To bridge these two different patterns, I'm gonna use a snare drum roll. I like using snaps, claps, and snares if I can, just in the same beat. You know, that way it's not the same thing the whole time. Let's try the snare drum. And let's turn this loop off for right here so we have a little pause for a drum fill. So, so far we've created three sections just out of this one harmonic loop. Now let's give this piano a little bit of a bass line to accompany it in the same way we made the bass line for the other part. I'm just gonna grab the root note of this whole thing. And let's have this be a full bar and we're gonna make this filter move just a little bit. Something about this piano doesn't feel like fun to me, so let's go grab a different instrument. Let's try... I think I'm actually gonna make this verse section twice as long. So I'm gonna hit Command-Shift-D, which is a major arrangement shortcut, and let's create a new locator. And it's just kind of our uh, pre-chorus. And let's add another drum in here just to help lift. Let's try this. this section of it, <clears throat> make a loop out of it. The addition of drum loops every four or eight is really gonna help this arrangement feel like it keeps growing and progressing. And since we have such a long verse, I don't think I'm gonna do such a long intro. So let's cut our intro down in half. Hey. Actually, I'm gonna cut the intro down in half yet again. So let's just go like this. And so instead of doing a full hit hook, let's just go like here. And then into the verse. randomization will help keep the shakers bouncing left to right which is super important for just having sounds that mix themselves it's just inserting panning in the instrument so that the sound is already wide you don't have to put a wideness plug in on it you just make it wide from the jump moving on maybe some fast little snare drum rolls to help this since we're doing a slow tempo as many fast feeling things as you can add to it are going to bring it to life use the midi arpeggiator and make this really fast So now that we've got a good arrangement for the first half of our song, let's just duplicate it over to the second one and start making some changes to the second half so it's not exactly the same when it comes back. The first thing I wanna do is sustain on this 808 and give it full sustain when it comes back. And then pull the volume down on here for this whole thing. I love automating the knobs on the sampler or simpler in this case instead of on the channel. I would rather have a bunch of automation here than a bunch of automation here. Let's drop an open hat in here. So when the closed hat starts, the open one comes in too. Cool. 
So now we have longer 808s in our second verse. Let's change our snap to a clap because so far we've used snares and we've used snaps, but we haven't used claps yet. And that's a really great trick. Find a section of every beat that you make that could facilitate one of the three main types of backbeats. So let's go ahead and delete. Actually, I might keep the snap and let's just add another thing on top of it. I might actually stack up two claps. So I'm gonna do an impulse because when I stack up drum samples, it's just the easiest way in my opinion. So let's grab the first clap, put it here. Let's turn that down and let's turn the OTT on, on this. And maybe just 1% on the dry wet. Ooh, I think I'm actually gonna have the 808 come in later. Anyways, I digress, back to the second verse. So this is gonna be all about adding groove because groove is gonna be what makes this feel more filled out than the first verse. So let's go grab a loop, maybe another Hot Tropics loop. Let's try Hot Tropics one this time. Turn our looper on. Actually, I might just use these sections where there are no drum hit and just make a loop out of that. Like this. Boom. And let's grab this right here and slide it back. And let's loop this and see what we get. And we'll just auto pan this a little bit to send it even more to the background. Does your mastering sound like hot trash? Have you wasted countless hours trying to finish your song with no results? Introducing Ozone Master Sauce, our cleanest and most powerful mastering preset ever for Isotope Ozone 8. Sauce up your song today with Ozone Master Sauce. Available now only at holoops.com. And maybe another hat loop to go on top of this hat loop. Ooh, I like this one. Hey. I kind of missed the piano, so let me duplicate this. Let's put a different piano in there. Maybe a Nexus piano will work. Oh, I like that. And then we're just gonna hit this with a little cutoff automation. This beat's getting pretty full. I'm gonna grab all my clips and shrink them a little bit just to keep everything on the screen. I just find it easier to work this way. So we'll just do to about there. Our verse two beginning back here now. Chorus two. And then maybe we'll duplicate this out over here one more time. Another thing that I do once I start getting a lot of channels in here is turn off this overview, which is command option O, and that turns off that annoying little thing. I don't find it too useful, so just get it off your screen and save some space for something useful. Next thing I wanna to add to this is some vocal sample action. I'm gonna to go to the dry whole loops female vocals. Let's try this one. It's like those two chops, let's play this in a little bit. And I might do this over the section with no drums just to help it feel a little bit more popping. Another thing I like to do is put auto-tune on my vocal chop. Let's 
let's put the reverb on. Let's put the filter on it. And I also want to put shaper box on here so that it does a little sidechain pumping effect, even though there's not really like a big kick going on here to sidechain it to. And now when it gets to the point where I start having a lot of channels in my song like this, I like to start separating my drums from my musical elements and putting them into groups. So let's make a group with all of our drums and 808 in it. And I like making my groups dark gray so I know that it's a sum and not a channel. And we'll call this drums. And since we got it, I love putting drums bus on my drums group. From here on out, it's really gonna be the automation that brings this beat to life. Let's try bringing our vocal sample over. And then during the part that the verse would be over, let's bring it over, but pitch it down an octave and see what it sounds like if we just grab it right here and go shift down twice. Now let's delete it right here. Now that we have our synths all grouped up, I'm gonna add a sidechain compressor to the kick and the snare. So let's drop this down and we'll select kick and we'll sidechain it to everything above 200. And then we're gonna bring this down a little bit and then let's do duplicate of this and we'll just change this to snare, or I guess clap in this case. See, I'm also going to add a plugin called Reverse on after this. And I'm going to do this as an audio effect rack so we hear the reverse signal and the dry signal at the same volume. So we've got Reverse up here. And let's put Shaper Box after it. And actually, let's put OTT after. Might hit these with a little bit of distortion too. Let's take Saturation, make these feel good. I think I also want some guitar notes in here. So I'm gonna open the Nexus guitar expansion. I really like that one because they have a great muted electric guitar pluck that I use in a lot of songs. It's guitar, muted, clean, one and two, depending on which song. Sounds really clean or the next one too. All right, so let's try and land some guitars during this part now. I think I'm going to hit these guitars with the guitar sauce preset. serum and we'll go to pop and plucks I'm just gonna grab that MIDI that I just did because Ableton's always recording your MIDI in the background one of the reasons why I make every beat in Ableton if I can. And let's go ahead and just quantize this. I actually kind of like that even though it got quantized wrong. So let's make our loop here.
drop this on here too. Ah! Might even throw auto tune on this. Let's grab, actually, let's grab this auto tune because this will be closer to the settings that I want. That's cool. And let's also put some quarter note echo on here. I have an echo rack already made with my quarter note already set up. All these little effects are gonna help the listener really know that a new part has started. We need a couple more sweeping noises. So I'm gonna make two more spots for these, some long sweep ups. So now that we've got our beat fully arranged out, I'm gonna take this L2 limiter and delete it and replace it with Ozone Master Sauce. And we're gonna put a little master chain on this beat real quick. Load up the sauce turn on dither and we're ready to rock. So now that we've got our beat completely arranged all from this original loop, it started with this one, turned to this one, we filled in the drums, used transition effects, markers, automation, all things to bring one simple loop to life. So even though everything stems from that one starting point, it still feels fresh as it goes. So let's take a listen to our finished production. Hey. Yeah. There you have it, my guide to creating a completely arranged beat from humble beginnings, starting with a simple loop. If you wanna check out all the presets for chords, serum, guitar sauce, all those are available at wholeloops.com and I'll put links in the description to the four band OTT preset that I used in the beginning. And I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. 